Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Over recent years, this has become what the character of Superman represents. Dark, brooding, confused, angry, and a potential foe to our heroes. Superman, the epitome of virtue and hope, a symbol of justice for generations. Superman, perhaps the most well-known superhero ever created, and yet is probably the most misrepresented. Studios always try to make Superman cool and edgy, which usually entails completely betraying what the character represents in order to achieve this edginess. And we are left with this. I'll take you in without breaking you. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. Today we delve into the concept of evil Superman, explore why it may not be the compelling narrative choice some believe it to be, and why I hate this version of the character. Superman's core values, truth, justice, and the American way. Superman's character is built upon a foundation of unwavering morality. When we strip him of these values, we risk losing the essence of what makes Superman, Superman. An evil version of the character often abandons the principles that have defined him for decades. As what if and multiverse stories have become more prevalent as a mode of storytelling, writers usually look to making Superman evil, mostly due to the fact that Superman is the strongest character and can be made into a more formidable villain for our characters to face. Making the character evil usually follows the same path. You kill Lewis Lane, and that's it. Superman becomes a fascist dictator, hell-bent on ruling the Earth under his authority. That's really all it takes. Despite this character being the essence of good, it doesn't really take much for the character to do a 180. Batman lost his parents, but evidently has better anger management issues than Superman. This trope of simply killing Lois Lane in order to alter Superman simply doesn't work. Thanks to his upbringing, the Kents created Superman. They took him in as one of their own and provided him with a loving and nurturing environment. The values they instilled in him such as humility, kindness and a strong sense of morality became the foundation of Superman's character. The Kents' influence plays a crucial role in shaping the hero he becomes. Superman is an alien with extraordinary powers, making him seem godlike. Jonathan and Martha Kent humanise him by teaching him about humanity, compassion and the importance of using his powers responsibly. Their down-to-earth wisdom helps Superman connect with the people he protects and fosters a sense of relatability. The Kent serve as Superman's moral compass, guiding him in making ethical decisions. They teach him the difference between right and wrong emphasising the importance of helping others and making the world a better place. Superman's unwavering commitment to justice is deeply rooted in the moral upbringing provided by the Kents. From this, you have created a character in which the Kents provide emotional support for Superman, offering a sanctuary where he can share his challenges and seek guidance. The unconditional love and understanding they offer strengthen Superman's resolve and give him the strength to face the burdens of being a hero. The character isn't dark and brooding, he reacts differently to situations to darker characters such as Batman. An evil Superman to me is like giving Batman a sunny disposition. It doesn't work and betrays the very core of what the character represents. The concept of evil Superman has become somewhat of a cliché overplayed in various media. The sheer abundance of these narratives dilutes the impact and novelty of the idea. It's time to explore new, fresh perspectives that challenge the character in ways beyond turning him into a villain. And I know what you'll say, well Omni-Man is an evil version of Superman and that character is fantastic. And yes that character is brilliant, but guess what, he isn't Superman. Mark is. He is the alien born to Earth who chooses to protect Earth and first and foremost sees himself as human. When he is confronted with the decision to protect Earth, 
or serve his heritage, he chooses Earth. Clark Kent is human, he sees himself as human. The origin of his powers is Kryptonian, but he has been raised human his entire life. This is a problem I had with his characterization of Man of Steel. Clark is presented as a somewhat fish out of water, stoic and unable to adapt to human life, searching for purpose and confused about his place in the world. When really, Clark is human. He's lived his life as a human, and yes, he has incredible powers, but that is something that makes him different, not an alien. Man of Steel treats the character as an alien, as if an adult Clark Kent has been dropped into Earth and now needs to adapt to his surroundings. When really, he understands being a human because he is one. For most of the movie, he seems confused and unable to integrate into his surroundings. Everything just seems foreign to him. And it feels like Zack Snyder took Bill's explanation of Superman from the movie Kill Bill. Didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. This is a fundamental misunderstanding of the character. Clark Kent is not his secret identity. Clark Kent is his true identity. He was not born Superman, and this was something he was molded into due to his upbringing and the values instilled into him as a child. He became Superman, but the man still is Clark Kent. Evil Superman often oversimplifies the complexity of morality. Instead of exploring nuanced ethical dilemmas of internal struggles, the narrative results to a binary view of good versus evil. This misses the opportunity to delve into the shades of grey that make characters compelling and relatable. I'm not a huge fan of what if stories, but sometimes these stories can be very engaging. One of my favourite what if stories is Superman Red Sun. This version of Superman lands in Soviet era Ukraine and is described not as fighting for truth just as an American way, but as the champion of the common worker who fights a never ending battle for Stalin, socialism, and the international expansion of the Warsaw Pact. I like this story because whilst it alters Superman's origins and his teachings, he is still in essence Superman, but altered. He isn't dark and brooding, but a version the Soviet Union would create. The story intertwines real world politics with the mythos of Superman, and how this character could be viewed from the other side of the coin. The comic creates moral ambiguity with the character of Superman. By changing his origin, the comic can ask the question, is Superman who he is because of nature or nurture? Red Sun toes that line shown that both are kind of true. It's within Superman's nature to do what he believes is the right thing, but that can depend on what the right thing is from his perspective due to his nurturing. The problem with most what if stories is Superman's nurturing stays mostly the same, but the character is framed as being very close to becoming an outright villain, when really this is more of a Batman characteristic. Superman is meant to be a symbol of hope, inspiring people to believe in a better world. When we turn him evil, we risk undermining that hope and transforming him into just another dark, brooding character. It's crucial to preserve the beacon of optimism that Superman represents. My all-time favourite Superman comic, Superman for All Seasons. This is a four-issue comic book miniseries written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by Tim Sale. Released in 1998, the series provides a poignant and introspective exploration of Superman's character, emphasising his humanity and the impact of his actions on the people of Smallville. The series explores Superman's struggles with his dual identity. Despite his superhuman abilities, he grapples with feelings of loneliness and alienation, emphasising the human side of the character. Smallville serves as a grounding element, highlighting the impact of his actions on the ordinary people, who view him as both a saviour and a potential threat. 
Superman's journey is framed by his moral compass and sense of responsibility. His upbringing by Jonathan and Martha Kent is integral to his strong moral foundation. The story explores the weight of responsibility that comes with Superman's powers, emphasising the choices he makes and the impact they have on the world. Superman for All Seasons stands out for its introspective approach, offering a character-driven exploration of Superman's humanity, impact on others and the moral challenges he faces. The series succeeds in blending poignant storytelling with evocative artwork, contributing to a timeless and resonant portrayal of the Man of Steel. Whilst you can show these darker elements of the character, you don't take away from his humanity and just create an evil version of the character. In conclusion, while the idea of an evil Superman may seem intriguing on the surface, it often sacrifices the core values, originality and moral complexity that make Superman a timeless and beloved character. Instead, I feel we should explore narratives that challenge him without compromising the very essence that has made Superman an enduring symbol of hope.